Hey y'all, hey my butterflies. So this is the haul that I just did a video on and now I'm about to vacuum seal. This is my first time vacuum sealing y'all. So I didn't buy one because Sam's didn't have one. And so my husband went to his mom's house and got hers. So we're gonna use hers for a little bit and then give it back to her. I've already, well we, my husband and I, already pre-cut our bags and sealed the ends. So that part is done. Um, he left to go take my son to school for his senior night football game. And we're gonna do this, well, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go up there. So let's get started. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. If you have not hit that red button, go ahead and hit that red button. Subscribe to Tommy Bikes TV. Join us. Join our family. Come on over. We need you. We want you. So let me get set up and get started. y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put my gloves on. I already cut my salmon up. I have these two packs right here. Um, well, this is one and I have one off camera that you can't see. These are my little bags, but he didn't seal this end up. He just cut these because he had to run and take my son. So y'all wish me luck because I ain't never did this before in my life. <laughs> ahead and package this one my son didn't want me to season it my husband wanted me to season it so they thought about it so we're gonna go with the unseasoning and let him season it when he does it and we have the salmon in the bag as you can see let me move this one now this one is sealed and so I'm about to seal up my salmon Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I gotta get one of these myself. Look at that. Yeah, I'm definitely getting one of these. Okay, so I have all six of the salmon. So now I have my ribs. these one more time and then just put yeah. this one we probably won't be able to do it with. It's just that that was like the tip end. So have this much space right there. You so that's not that, enough. You can turn that bag off some more so it can be tighter. Okay. That good? So y'all, I'm gonna cut this piece because it didn't seal like I wanted it to. And that's all it is to it, y'all. I'm still learning though. So now we are about to do all of this pork chop. Let me tell you, that's a lot. And I know I don't have enough of the food saver bags. I'm gonna try to put them in two at a time.
now I'm about to zip lock my chicken, thighs, legs, wings. I'm gonna do eight a bag. I'm gonna label all of these things. Um, I'm gonna show y'all everything once I get done. y'all so i just got through doing the food saver so i'm gonna start down here oh. <sighs> i'm so worn out okay so y'all i just finished this the food saver and i ran out of bags so i ended up having to do my ziploc bags i still have to do some labeling but i just did the basic on top so i can get this video done so over here is the pork tenderloin that I did, um, I don't know if you can see it cause I don't have my light in here. I have one, two, it was one whole pack and I just cut them in half and then I cut them again for this one so it'll have a tighter seal than that one did. And then I labeled it pork tenderloin and then I put the date on it and it's already seasoned y'all. So over here is the salmon. Let me zoom out. Over here is the zen. I'm tired. Jesus. Over here is the salmon, and I'm not cutting this out. So on the salmon, I dated it, I labeled it, and this is it. I'm gonna get me a food saver. And out of these, I had two big packs of them. So I got one, two, three, four, five six of the salmon and then over here we have the ribs and you can see it labeled it right here have the date on it and i also seasoned these washed and seasoned washed and seasoned i didn't do the salmon like that but because my son didn't want it like that but anyway i have i had two big packs and each pack came with two slabs of rib and i forgot about it. i was like oh my god there's another rib in here so it was extra work so I got one, two, three, four, five of those big babies right there, ready to go in the freezer, the deep freezer, which I have right over there. And over here, we have the pork chops, as you can see, vacuum sealed and labeled with the date on it. And I managed to get, I had two huge packs of these, y'all. So that was one, two, three, four. I got five packs and each one has like um, six in it. I think it's a couple that have eight in it. And then over here we have the chicken breasts. Some, two bags have five breasts in it and the other ones have four. And I also labeled it right here. Four bags of the chicken breast, four bags of the chicken legs, and I have about eight in each. And I, of course, labeled it. Make sure y'all do that. And then over here we have our wings. I did two bags, but I did like nine. I only bought one pack of the chicken wings, but it was a lot in there. So it's nine in each bag. And so over here we have the chicken thighs. We have one, two, three bags, but we have like five chicken thighs or six chicken thighs in each bag. And then last but not least, it's my breakfast sausage, which is also labeled and dated. And what I did was I took it out of the box that it comes in. And I like to do mine like this, that way I can go in and just take one out and cook that. And then I have two bags right there. So this one has um, six, 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 and then one underneath is six. So we good with that, y'all. So that's it for the vacuum seal. I enjoyed using that vacuum seal. That was the very first time I ever used it. Um, it was like a child with a toy. And I'm glad my husband was here. He talked me through it. He helped me with some of it. So I really appreciate him for doing that. And that is the end of the video. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and join our family. And also 
turn on your post notifications so you'll know when I post a video. Share the video out. Leave me some comments below. Do you have a food saver? Um, where did you find your food saver? Was it high? Because he, when he came back, he did say they did have it, but it was $139 and we had already spent dollars up in that stack. So um, he didn't want to get it, but we are going to get one. So we used his mom's and it worked out great. Um, yeah, y'all. So I'm done. I got to go take a shower and get myself together so I can drop my daughter off at school because she's playing in the band tonight for the senior night. And then my son is playing and then we'll go out on the field with him and they'll introduce us and all the other kids. Peace, love, and light, y'all. I ain't said that in a long time. And remember, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you could be. And when you're that person, go out and spread God's love with distance. Remember, it's the Tommy Bikes life. Smooches. Okay, so I finished putting everything away. Let's see if you can see it because I don't have my lighting in here. So as you can see from the last video that I shot where I showed you inside my freezer and pantry and how everything was gone, this load did it for me. This meat load, this meat haul, I should say, did it for me. Um, we have everything in here in our deep freezer. And then what we have in here, we, we duplicated it in our refrigerator freezer. That way we don't have to go in here and get anything out for a while. So we are stopping.